Hello everyone, God bless you. I just want to say today, do not take the mark of the beast. You know, the Bible says, you know, it's a number for man and it's 666. Soon and very soon, it's going to be mandatory for every human being to take this mark. Yes, soon and very soon. In order for you to buy, in order for you to sell, it will be mandatory because you know what? The enemy wants you to worship him. The enemy, Satan, wants you to worship him. That's what he wants. He wants the whole world to worship him. He wants to be God, but he's not. There's only one true living God. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the one who died for each and every one of our sins, your sins, my sins, he died for us. Satan wants you to take his mark so you can worship him. Do not be tricked into taking the mark of the beast. Do not. Regardless of what it is, whatever they say, do not take it. God is going to be with you. He's going to be with you till the end of time. Even if you have to die, just guess what? When you die, your soul will be in heaven in eternity rejoicing with God. Okay? So don't be afraid. Don't fear. Because God didn't give us a spirit of fear. He didn't give us a spirit of fear at all. He gave us a spirit of love, of power, and a sound mind. So remember today, do not take the mark of the beast. Do not take that number 666. Because if you do, that's it. There's no more repentance for you. If you take it, you're doomed. If you take it, you're doomed. You can't say, okay, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to turn to Christ. No. If you take it, that is it. Okay? Guys, get in the Bible. Read your Bible. Let the Bible minister to you. Let the Word of God minister to you. And let it speak to your heart. And do what it says. There's a lot of truth in that Bible. There's the truth. Stop looking for truth all over the place. The only truth you will find is in that Bible. God is speaking to us. He's speaking to His children right now because He knows that His time is near. He's coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is really coming. He is really coming. Don't take the mark of the beast, my brothers and sisters. Do not take the mark of the beast. I'm telling you guys, do not take the mark of the beast. It is serious. Your soul you don't want to be in hell. You don't want to be in hell. So please, don't take it. It's not a good place. Hell is not a good place for anybody. It was made for Satan and his demons. Unfortunately, people will go there because of their disobedience to God. Because they refuse to give up sin. So, remember today, God love you guys. Continue whoever is on this journey. Continue with God, please. Hold on to God, please. Just walk with God. He loves you. Do everything in love. Do everything with the love of God. Love people. Love God. He loves us so much. He loves us so much. He gave his son for us. <laughs> God loves us so much. He gave his son for us. Yes. If we believe, if we believe in Jesus, we will not perish. We will have eternal life in heaven with him. So no matter what I face, I know that God has my back. I know, you know, he is with me. I have that assurance. I have that peace with me. And I want you guys to have that too. The enemy will attack you greatly because you stand for who you are in Christ. You stand for the will of God. I am under attack right now as I speak greatly. Nobody knows but Kizzy and God. He knows. But I tell you, I will not bow down to Satan. 
I will be like the three Hebrew boys. Yes. Throw me in the fire. Throw me in the lion's den. You'll see the God that I serve is real. Whoever you are that's working with Satan, you will see the God that I serve is real. One day, one day, the Bible says it, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Satan know that Jesus Christ is Lord. He knows that. Don't be deceived. God bless you guys. And don't take the mark of the beast. 666. God bless you and I love you guys. In Jesus' name.